What's happening, weirdos? This is the incredible French Stewart from 30 Rock from the Sun. That's what I called it the entire episode. From Third Rock from the Sun, but also countless other things. He's always incredible. We actually met doing an episode of How We Roll. He was such a delight to work with. Of course, I was already a fan and was, was aware of his incredible work. So unprepared for how great he would be on this podcast, though. He came in and he absolutely destroyed. You're about to see. It's silly. It's light. It's fun. It's interesting. It's thoughtful. And he has a great God answer at the end, which I really, really enjoyed. So it was just a delight. It was one of those uh, did we just become best friends sort of episodes. So I can't wait to get to it. Only a couple things to plug up top. July 12th is my next stand-up show. That's the only date I have right now. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area, go to Largo dash la.com for tickets always 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 an incredible time uh i'm a little tired so i can't remember who did it the last one but it was i don't know we've had dimitri martin judd apatow uh sarah silverman zach galifianakis it's always incredible any show at largo is great but if you want to see me do uh usually about 45 minutes of stand-up uh, and then have some guests as well. Go to Largo-LA.com. And whenever you see this episode or watch or listen to this episode, I do it monthly. And it's always great to have weirdos in the audience. So please, please, please come check it out. And if you like the show, why not support it and try a Pete's Pick? Like, I'm wearing it right now. Look, it's video. So I can show you how stretchy, how stretchy, <laughs> how, how stretchy my, my friggin' jeans are. These aren't just regular jeans. These are the, per look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? These are the perfect jeans for the perfectly imperfect man. As you know, if you listen to my stand-up, I hate hard pants. I don't understand how it's 2022 and we haven't figured out how to look good but also wear comfortable pants that don't scrunch up where they're not supposed to scrunch up. Turns out we have figured it out. We have the perfect jean. They have a great look. They're my best looking jeans, but they are the best fitting and best feeling jeans that have incredible, incredible craftsmanship. I've Every pair I have, I haven't had to replace one yet. And I wear them almost every single day. They're so comfortable. They're almost like pajama pants. You could sleep in them because they are 2% spandex. It's like a stretchy little secret. You can't tell. These are 2% spandex and 2.5% rayon for extra comfort and movement that your man parts require. These are the most comfortable pants I've ever owned in my life. These jeans stretch so you're not saying crushed, thereby providing the only true home for your bone. This is the only ad I love to do because it has the word thereby in it thereby providing the only true home for your bone. They're super soft. You may even forget you're wearing pants. They're maximum, maximum durability. I mean, these are really made utilizing the highest quality materials and sewing techniques that provide you with a product that is built to last. And best of all, they're not khakis. Fuck your khakis. Spare your nuts. The perfect gene for the imperfectly imperfect men. Just 60 bucks when you use promo code WEIRDO at checkout. Liberate your lower limbs with the one and only perfect gene, whether you're working with lemton, lemons or lentils a three-leaf clover or a big old honking eggplant. The Perfect Gene has you covered. Take a peek at www.theperfectgene.nyc. That's www.theperfectgene.nyc. Code WEIRDO at checkout for 25% off and show your support of the show. This episode is also brought to us by literally the thing that I recommend more in life to my friends and my colleagues is Magic Mind. I just got a text today from my friend Jimmy. He's a photographer and a director. And he said that this product that I recommended to him was the biggest game changer of 2022 so far. And I absolutely, for real, for real, agree with him. Magic Mind is the world's first productivity drink. It is a mix of 12 functional ingredients, including matcha, which has, uh, and nootropics. So matcha, which has natural adaptogens, which help us cope with stress and also just tend to round out the edges of the caffeine we're consuming. So you drink this while you're taking your coffee, while you're having your tea, whatever it might be that you have caffeine in the morning. The adaptogens in the matcha that are in Magic Mind are going to round it out and make it an even more steady, dialed in, not jacked up, but like a dialed in flow state. That's what this is. This is flow state in a bottle. Whenever I'm sitting down to write, 
uh, when I'm doing an episode of this podcast. I drink one of these 10 minutes beforehand and it helps me feel dialed in, not wired, dialed in. It has nootropics, which is like, you know, vitamins for your brain, basically, that help you focus and adaptogens that help you fight off stress. Can be taken daily for a sharper mind, steady energy, immune support, and less stress. And you get 30% more done on average. That's five to seven hours of 30% more productivity after drinking. Magic Mind is the morning drink for creators, entrepreneurs, and freelancers. Athletes have Gatorade. We now have Creator Aid. It's a creator's best friend. Try it 15 to 30 minutes before recording or producing an episode of a podcast like this, writing a script, uh, anything that you're doing that uses your brain, that needs your energy, that needs you happy, that needs you light, that needs you locked in and in the flow. This stuff fights off procrastination, brain fog, fatigue, and some ADD symptoms and helps you get into that flow state. And even better, the more you use it, the better it works. They also have a money back guarantee, which means any first purchase will be refunded. No questions asked if it doesn't meet your expectations. And we actually have a special offer for weirdos from our friends at Magic Mind. All you have to do is go to magicmind.co slash weird and use our discount code weird at checkout to get 20 20% off your first order. That's www.magicmind.co slash weird and use discount code weird at checkout for 20% off. I seriously, Val loves it. I love it. It's a huge game changer in my life and it would be a great way to support the show and we always, always, always appreciate that. And of course, support yourself at the same time. All right, everybody, let's enjoy French Stewart together. What a great episode. So glad you're here. Hope to see you July 12th at Largo. In the meantime, I get into it. Sorry, there's a step there. And welcome <laughs> to the sauna. That's the sauna, Frenchie. First of all, let's get these great greetings on the air because I said, get in here, you living legend. And you said, you lanky yeti. <laughs> <laughs> you're Which a big I feel like is the right yeah. way to start. I think it's a, the best way to start cuz you I'm just going to offer it to you. Uh -huh. Get your shoes on the couch, curl up on the, however you're comfortable. Oh. Yeah. That this feels is, also it's it's just a warning that the couch is filthy but like it's not that it's like a sleepover. I've seen worse. I mean, I've seen way worse. Come on. Let, let. I've been to Leno's house. <laughs> you you <laughs> immediately to... throw Jay Leno under the bus? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why would you do that? <laughs> no. He had you to his home. No. Have you no. been to Jay Leno's house? What a weird first question. Dang it. <laughs> no. Why? And now my feelings are hurt because like, Jay yeah. Leno hasn't invited me to his house. Man, I, I've never even met Jay Leno. I've been in showbiz for a long time. I did Somehow the t I've been on a parallel path to Jay Leno. I don't know. Yeah, you're vertical with Jay We're Leno. Vertical, yeah. Yeah, We're that's in the how, same ocean. He's just swimming yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, you're you're just propelling yourselves, uh, you know, yes. down the, down the line. That's right. Yeah. Tell I, me, I did a show once, the the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Yeah. Yes. Not fun. I don't like it. You didn't like it. I didn't. Tell me why. Well, it was just like uh, it's okay. Know. By the way, we're gonna let you off the hook, Mister Leno, because if you do three million of something, every once in a while, it's not gonna be great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this is life. This is life. That's the feeling of life. You That's can't always be great, so it is okay. It's Tell the, me why you hated it. it. It's the truth of life. <laughs> it's the it's the truth of, of life. life. French, we want to win, 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 win. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it's this. Sometimes it goes squirrely. And it's and if it's not going squirrely, it's probably about to go squirrely. It's inches from squirrely. Inches from squirrely is now the name of this episode. <laughs> or if you live in um, Europe, it's centimeters from squirrely. You see what I'm saying? I have never needed oh. something more. I didn't realize until you said that. Yeah. I did actually when you walked in. Yeah. I was you like, I really it. need this. I need a yeah, hang. Yeah, you get it. I get it, but I need a hang, and I'm glad we're hanging. A buddy hang. A buddy hang. Right. I'm even, not to bring gender into it, but a bro hang feels oh, well, kind of nice. But we're hanging Katie's, with her too. Well, Katie's always here. I feel like she Katie could and I bro hang. I yeah. don't think I don't think bro uh, I feel like indicates a... ding no, dongs no, 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 no. and Katie's bro. Katie can bro out. I like a lot of bro things. Let's not get to that. Tell me, I don't think I'm a bro, but I like a lot of bro things. We're gonna put a pin in that. We'll put a pin in the bro thing. Ouch! Oh, that would oh that would hurt. You, uh, I should pay you thousands of dollars. Like that was such a great read on. Oh, that got hurt. Like yeah. that was like that should be someone's ringtone. Yeah, because I, I I thought about my penis. 
And you thought about your ding dong? Yeah. Added value. I'm going to sell it as an NFT. No one can fund that token. Oh. You're going to say. They're going to fund my shit. Oh. They can't fund it. They can't? <laughs> You can't fungi it. Tell Unfun- me why. Tell me fungible. You're unfungible. Okay. I've always said that about you. Oh. And Ron is unfungible. Tell me, Ron, Ron Funches. I didn't know if he'd get it. <laughs> Send this clip to Ron Funches. Um, Ron <clears throat> Funches is a wonderful comedian that you would love. Tell me why you didn't like Jay Leno. Just because it's so fun. Well, because like he was like <laughs> I, like he would like what he would do is he would do. Uh, he would just pre-read. He's not like you. You, where we just go in and we start I, talking. I, know, I knew you were going to say this. Not just about Leno, but a bad late night appearance with any of them. Right, is when you feel like, oh, they didn't find the magic today. They no. didn't find the gratitude or, or or the novelty, and they're just stuck in a talk show and <laughs> maybe nightmare. Stuck in a talk show. They're nightmare. stuck in a talk show nightmare. <laughs> it's a talk show nightmare. And it was like it, it, it was one Stewart. of those things where he and you're like. Ah. Yeah, he pre-interviews me within an inch of my damn life. and then, Before the camera was on. Yeah, before the camera's on. And then what I do is I go in, and he knows what story I'm going to tell. And then he beats me to the punchline. I have to and write so then he's like, and what, what, check what else do you want to say? Yeah. yeah, for this moment is, and what else you got? Is that what he said? Yeah. Okay, so you, what what story did you tell? Do you remember? I can't even remember. But he knew the punchline. He knew the punchline. He told it before me. And he got in a 1981 Porsche Carrera and right. zoomed he, to front. Yes, he got in a 1956 <laughs> Ferrari. There we go. Better. It, I went to 80. Well, I'm like, what's a good car? Yeah. 81 Carrera. He got into yeah. a, a 1966 uh, Pontiac Tempest. <laughs> Like, right? I don't know what he did. And he zoomed around. And he zoomed around. And took, did and he, he take your punchline? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say we could take him to, not real court, but the people's court. Co- like people comedy court? We could take him to Judge Judy's comedy court. Is that oh. your phone? You gotta, oh. you gotta put it on do not, because I'm going to be answering your texts. You know what? I'm not even mad about it. I'm just but telling let's, you. Let's see who it is. Though. Okay, let's see who it is. Oh, it's just my wife. I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> How about that? How about that? I just dissed my wife. Oh. Anything for the show. Anything for the show. Anything for the show. I don't care. Throw Miss... Did she take your name? Yeah, she took my name. Miss Stewart, throw her under the bus. I'm going to throw Vanessa Claire Stewart. That's her full government. I'm throwing her ass under the bus because it's the show. Can I ask you something before we get back to Jay Leno, which we will? Look at this. Oh, Leno. Any Patricks in your family? (laughs) Any Patricks? Patrick Stewart. Oh, no. Hello, French. Hello. Hello, French. <laughs> I love Third Rock from A the Sun. Day. Because Earth <laughs> is in outer space, which is where my show was. Actually, all shows are in outer space. No. All my stories... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. What a way to force no. my impression in. No, no. I'm Lenoing you. I'm Lenoing you! You Lenoed me. No, I didn't. You yeah, I hope the, I didn't. You God, Lenoed I the balls off of me. Which doesn't mean we're bros. Just because it has balls doesn't mean it's bros. Are we bras? I would wear a bra. Because we're supportive. Bra. <laughs> we're supportive. Wait, that was a Seinfeld oh. episode. We could use a little support. Which brings us to... Son of a... Frenchie Stew. Damn it. You were on Seinfeld, right there on Radford. I was there for like I was I was uh, I was on Seinfeld in the same day that I was on the Larry Sanders show. That's a great showbiz day. It's a, it's a great little uh, bang a bang. Bang a bang. Is that a? Yes, that's when you have Chinese food and then you go eat a full pizza. It's bang bang. Oh, oh bang bang. Yeah, bang bang. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. not China, not because it's Chinese bang bang. I'm, uh, like, that sounds like an Asian bang joke. Bang. I saw it on the show, Louis. Yes. Scandal noted that they call it bang bang when That's you right. go and eat a full meal and then you go eat a full meal. That's right. That's what you did. You had bang a full bang. meal and you bang banged. It was a showbiz uh, bang bang. You showbiz bang bang, which sounds like an again, Illuminati sort uh, of. Again, we're both going to be canceled because uh, <laughs> just a misunderstanding. Really, we're, we're really misunderstanding. <laughs> so, Tell, was, so, which one did you do first? And were they both in Radford? They were both on Radford. Wow. And so it was one of those things where it was like I was doing Larry Sanders' show, and I was playing a character called the Weird Intern. Weird Intern? At least it's not Weird Intern number one. You were the only Weird Intern. I was the only Weird Intern. Your agent said, well, he'll do it, but get rid of of Weird Intern number two. Just there's no... Combine the lines... Put it together. I know one of them's nervous and one of them's excited, but make him excited, nervous, and French will do it. (laughs) 
You can't have too excited or weird. Weird. No. Kind of an insult. No, I'm not gonna. No. Yeah. No, I'm the weird intern. He only does single intern. And the the storyline. <laughs> The storyline was is that he uh, Larry Sanders had had an anal fissure, oh, and so they sent the weird intern out. What is an anal fissure? Um, it sounds like it, it's something you do to fix a television reception. I'm like we need an anal fissure. This is oh, a like, staticky shot. <laughs> if you can figure out why I thought that's what it was, no, it I, also sounds like a fish hook up your butt. No, it, it, it's a it's a it's a rip in your butthole. It's a rip. I'll, I'm in just going to be direct. Yes, please. Speak to me like you're my doctor, but you're also my bro. And, and so my only... <laughs> it's my, a rip in your my, butthole. My, my only line was, here's your butt cream, Larry. And would you like some frozen yogurt for after the show? <laughs> like, that was my line. Well, it used to be weird intern number one said, here's your butt cream, Larry. Weird intern number two said, would you like, like any frozen yogurt But they looked the at the show. finances, and they were like, we got to yeah, crush right. this together that's into right. one weird intern. One weird intern for is finances. all we have. Absolutely, for finances' for sake. For finance sake. For the sake of financing. I'm, get, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that we're both sort of show business bankers what, at the what, moment. We, the, like, we just... Balancing budgets, you mean? Balancing budgets. Making sense of the script. Bell <laughs> budge. Bell budge. Well, you've been around, man. You you have to come into a project now. Look at a script. You're doing mm. mom. Yeah. Or as they call it in Minnesota, ma'am. Ma'am. You're doing that hit show, ma'am. <laughs> Let's go get a bagel and a soda and watch ma'am. And watch oh, ma'am. Oh, French Stewart from Third Rock is on, ma'am. Oh, he's delightful. Oh, and he's also in that Juju Bees episode of Seinfeld. That's Actually, right. I think it's Juicy Fruits. <laughs> uh, I, I really loved him in Beverly Hills Chihuahua 2. <laughs> The straight to video did. Inspector Gadget was absolute. I, I can't come without thinking about it. I can't do it. it. The new WKRP in Cincinnati. I'm like in everything that, like the original. Like there will be there will be a there will be, be a hit, and then there's a janky follow up. Yes, and that's that's where I come call in. weird intern number one. Fred that's Stewart, right for the janky follow up. For the janky follow up. Yeah, but, and and and. None of the original cast members will have anything to do with it. That's right. And that's when I Once come Once Broderick in. walks away and spits on the ground. That's where I come pick in. Pick up Inspector Gadget's cap and that's you put it on like Shia LaBeouf in the Indiana Jones, the bad one. That's what you do. And then it, and then Harrison Ford stops you because even <laughs> even even Spielberg, I think, was like, <laughs> no, I, I we can't don't like do this. it. We don't. I don't like it. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Yeah. It would have been a, a more LaBeouf move. Remember, a LaBeouf Crystal, move. Uh, LaBeouf. A, a beefy move. Pulling a boof? Pulling a beef boof? You pulled a beef boof. <laughs> uh, <you>, Balancing <laughs> budgets and pulling beef boofs. Beef boof. If you picked up Indiana Jones' hat and just smelled it. Oh. Instead of trying to put it on, he just went. <sighs> and then he, it cuts to black. Executive producer. <laughs> or do you do the slow motion walk away? Like you smelled it and, and then, then it, it blows. The hat? The hat blows. <laughs> Or, or do you cut the two wires on the hat? I don't know. Maybe I'm you making it. You mean like it, a levitation system? Yeah. Maybe I'm off? making it too complicated. I think we don't have the budget for that. That's I apologize. Weird. Have you ever been brought in? This is a weird and random question. Looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been brought into the Oakwood Apartments to give a talk to children about being in a sitcom? I don't know why I'm asking this. It's based on no data, no research. But you were on a hit show Tell me a weird time they were like, come explain Hollywood to these out-of-towners. Well, I, can t- <laughs> I, I, I can tell you that um, anybody whose marriage has ever been in trouble ends up at the Oakwood Apartments. Have you lived at the Oakwood Apartments? Yes, I did. Because you and I are both divorced. So you married an actor. Yeah. And then it, it went sideways. It went sideways. I'd love to know why it went sideways. Not for clickbait, but because it's interesting to me um, what you learned from that and then how you ended up at the Oakwood. But let's let's start there if you don't okay. mind. Well, I was married uh, for 14 years. You met her on the set of 30 Rock yeah. from the yeah. NBC. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then... Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's exactly that's correct. the name of the show. Thirty Rock from the NBC, a, a, from the NBC with Liz Lemon, who's with, an alien. With Liz Lemon and uh, the guy She's who a squinty accidentally alien. shot somebody. <laughs> oh, no. I apologize. I that's know. not. I shouldn't have. Unfortunately, that was one of the. If, if I involved, I swear to God, if I would have had time to workshop that joke a little bit, yeah, 
I open would mic it more. Uh, there's an open mic podcast down the street that you can try out your bits. Oh, there's like fifty. And be, is that why you came here? What did you do? We're lined with open mic podcasts where you can try your Baldwin riff, and then <sighs> and then you kind of and then you realize here. that it <laughs> like was oh, a I'm bad, not going to do that. It was a bad words. way to go. Yeah, but oh. but I mean, when you're on the Thirty Rock Icon, it does come to mind. Yeah, it, that's you're only being honest. It crosses your mind. I did what I did, and I. I but 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 at the same time, I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm, I I'm fully like cancelable. Frenchie, yeah, yes, it sir. went squirrely. Yeah, it went it, it went it, it went but backwards. But can I say something? Yes. One of the things this show is celebrating mm -hmm. is that raw. This is going to sound fake, but I mean it. That raw, weird, weird mm -hmm. side of humanity. Yes. You're. We're riffing. Maybe you say something and you go, oh, I went a little squirrely. But, yeah. That's life. I don't want to pre-interview you. I don't want to let you. You're not going to leno my balls I off. Would, yes, I'd rather have footage that when we're long dead, they'll go, there they are. There, that was them. That was them. That right was there. them. And you know what? Awkward and all. And that's the best part is that I can look at you and say, you're a stone cold bitch. <laughs> and it's fine. It's it's like, it's acceptable. <laughs> Stone it's a cold bitch. I, you're a stone cold bitch. I could have taken a 45 minute break when you were like, I could look at you and say, I'd go in the back 45 minutes. Right. Never would have guessed that you were about to say, Take you're nap. a stone cold bitch. I didn't see it coming either. Tell it, it, me. <laughs> I didn't see it coming either. I, I don't know. My, 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 uh, we're my, gonna get my to brain your acting can. technique. We're going to get to your comedy chops because I'm such a fan. You're so funny. But let's, let's go where we are. Uh, we yeah. sort of wrapped up the Leno thing. So I'm going to say we're moving on. You met her on Third Rock from the Sun. She did a guest star. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. And then we entered into a... Did a, you a, flirt a, immediately? Maybe that's uncomfortable. Yeah. To talk no, about, we did. Then, well, she she had been... Um, uh, I talked to her last week. We're still like... Oh, you're friends? Yeah. Can I do this? Mm hmm Is this too like... Well, for radio, like a thumb up? In Russia, thumb ups oh, you. Yes. Is yeah. this... <laughs> that's right. That's correct. <laughs> That's yeah, correct. well, but she had been previously married to Dennis Hopper. Wow! And so, around what era, Hopper? Uh, she was the Speed. Uh, yeah, the were they together during Speed? She was. Well, she was the. Uh, what's a basketball movie? Um, the uh, Hoop Dreams. <laughs> hoop some. Hoop. Hoop nightmares. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Dennis Hopper is one of those guys. Yeah. There's a lot of actors where we're like. Oh my God, Dennis Hopper! Yeah, they got him for that show, and I'm like, this is the first thing I've kind of seen. Him seen him, like you know they're That's legends, fine. but yeah. you're kind of like, you haven't seen oh. Drugstore Cowboy oh, or something. And you're yeah. like, no, I haven't seen I haven't Drugstore seen it. Cowboy. No, no I haven't sorry. seen it. Yeah, I, that, yeah. Everybody makes you feel stupid. Exactly. Yeah. So she was married to uh, oh Waterworld. Waterworld Hopper. Time Hopper. Okay. So and so I just thought that like his legend for misbehavior, I thought, well, how bad can I be? Is Hopper legendary a misbehavior? Yes. A squirrely? Mm-hmm. Really? In like what insane, way? insane asylum level. Like a nutso. A lot of drugs, a lot of craziness. Lots of crazo. Lots of crazo. Raise and the crazo. And so I just thought- In what, I was what flavor crazo? Like- like Gary Busey, oh. like, I watched a movie on my teeth last night. And then he does the scene. <laughs> yes. Like, just kind of nutso. Yeah. Le yeah. Le uh, like Busey, Busey like style. Busey level. Busey, not uh, pervy. Just kind of nutty. No, no. but A little of that. Yeah, all of it. Uh, Busey flavor. Um, I don't know what flavor that is. Is that, like, grape? <laughs> oh, my God. If you see Gary Busey drinking a soda, you know it's great. I saw him at Bill Maher's house one time. and he, No, no, uh, but Maher. He's got Maher. Yeah. And he, he waved at me, and he was on the opposite side of uh, like a, a very clean glass window. And then Gary Busey walked into it like a bird. <laughs> the sound of those male Kira Knightley choppers banging into plate glass and, and Bill Maher comes out and goes, new rule, don't put Gary near the big old yeah, window. Yeah, yeah, and meanwhile, like, uh, like Florence Henderson is just hanging out like from the Brady Bunch or like, you know, and she's talking to like the, the like, uh, like some porn star. It's just Can weird. I, you know what you do if that happens? If I'm Bill Maher? And would, Busey smears my glass, and there's just like a, you know, kind of like a waxy, oily. What's, what's your reaction? Imprint. I save it like the Shroud of Turin is what I do. 
I Banksy that shit. I put plate glass <laughs> around it. it, and I go, would you like to see my Busey and, imprint? And then you just replace the window. Oh, my God, of course. I go, this is where Busey waved at French Stewart, past the girl from Brady Bunch talking to a porn star. You and shroud flat. of tour and a Busey. You ever tour in a Busey? Because that shit's worth 89 grand a minute. You start to wonder what was worth what, like at certain points of your life where like you yes. could have, I could have turned a Busey. You could have turned a Busey into a fat profit. A fat profit. I mean, just the absurdity. Oh, that's our new band. Fat profit. Yeah. Do you PH? want to? What do you play? Bass? I'll play anything. All right. But not well. But I'll play bass. Me I either. like that you guess bass because hey, Millie Vanilli, they did fine except except for they died. Oh. <laughs> I just can't. A Milli Vanille. I, I love it. I apologize. A Manili Vanilla Coke. That's my favorite drink. <laughs> That's the new flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's it's how many it's calories? Rum, but it's zero calories. Yeah, it's, it's rum, like, there's, but it's... There's, there's a there's a ruse in it. A Milli Vanilla. For those of you who aren't our age, uh, Milli Vanilli yeah. was a lip syncing duet. Would you call them a duet? I would call them a duet. Can you join me in this? Yes. Ba 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 don't forget it, my, my number. number. Pardon the interruption, weirdos. This episode is brought to us by our friends at Blue Chew. Guys, it is time to bring that summer heat into the bedroom. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets you take at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so no need to plan ahead, and you can be ready whenever the opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no more weird visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacies. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and are prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for weirdos. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code WEIRD at checkout. Pay just $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code WEIRD, to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And thank you, Blue Chew, for sponsoring this podcast. Weirdos, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes when I'm online... Uh, I'd rather people not know what I'm doing online. <laughs> I wouldn't want a list of every website I've ever been to this week broadcast to the world. And that is why uh, I like ExpressVPN. I know what you're probably thinking. Why don't you just use incognito mode with the, with the glasses and the fedora? Let me tell you something. Incognito mode does not hide your activity. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browser history filled with shame or not, your internet service provider can still see every single website you've ever visited. That's some terrifying shit. That's why whenever I'm home, I never go online without using ExpressVPN. It doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. IP, ISPs in the U.S. can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your ISP can't see the sites you visit. That's a really great idea. If you love privacy like I do, and if you love not having apps track you like some dystopian future nightmare. ExpressVPN also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. Most of the time, I don't even realize I have it on. ExpressVPN is very, very subtle. It runs seamlessly in the background and is so easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and boom. You're protected. ExpressVPN is available on all your devices, phones, computers, even your smart TV, so there's no excuse for you to not be using it. Protect your online identity today with a VPN rated number one by Business Insiders. Business Insider, excuse me. Visit my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash weirdo, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash weirdo. Expressvpn.com slash weirdo to learn more. Keep your stuff private and show your support of this show. 
Look. <laughs> Four times. I don't know why you're doing this to me. I'm a nice man. You know, I'm a nice man. The only reason that I'm here is that <laughs> to be uh, you know, nice. my wife's best friend uh, is, is your makeup artist. <laughs> uh, she's your, that's your best friend? That's my wife's. My wife has a shoddy group of ladies. Yeah. That she hangs out a with. A murder of ladies. You know that's, how you call that, a group that, of crows? That is, that, yeah, yeah that, it's, a it's a murder. It's a murder. Of squirrely ladies. A murder of squirrely ladies. Well, I love Kat. Kat has been, we've been working together for over a decade. She's the best. She's wonderful. And she said, French Stewart. And I said, oui, oui. <laughs> oh, oui, oui. Because of your name. Oh, that's nice. That Stuart. makes me happy. <laughs> because of Stuart. Stuart. Oui, oui. So that was a great Gary Busey story, and I loved it. And we were talking about your divorce. So you were at that party. Yeah, we it's good to get to. back to the divorce. Yeah, we want to get back to the divorce. That's where you want to go. That's where the people are. Well, they come for the silly riffs, and then they go. But where's the meat? The where's meat. the divorce meat? Where's the divorce meat? Oh, Which that's is our what other band. Kebabs are called. It yeah, yeah. <laughs> in divorce most countries. Meat. You want some that's, divorce? That's meat? correct. No one doing well is honking down on a street kebab. <laughs> That guy's going through a problem, and he might be living at the Oakwood. There's We're getting there. Oh, at the Oakwood. Yeah. Yeah. But so, first, you meet her. How did we get to that party? Oh, um, to the Oakwood party? Oh, because we were talking about Gary Busey and uh, Dennis Hopper. And yeah. that Dennis Hopper is grape-flavored crazy. I may have taken us off the trail. And I brought us back. Thank we're you. We're in Oregon, baby. Oh. So you were like, how nut? Oh, you we're in it. Oregon, baby. We're in Oregon. You got it. Oh, shit. You're on a but black But now sport. we're off the trail again? Yes, and because- we have dysentery. My daughter just had to do like a month worth of a uh, personal diary of the Oregon Trail. She's eight. And they have to like Aww. do a, a like Dear a. Dear Papa. Yeah. The trail has been hard. Yeah. The There's wagon no wheel is service. broken. She's an LA girl. And There's no craft service and the air <laughs> is not being piped in between takes. You're like, we got to move to Manhattan Beach. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, she's like doing the, the fastball down the middle. She's doing, um, it's cold. You know, the, where's the food? Yes. Uh, a broken wagon wheel. And I'm trying to, after a month, talk her into a little cannibalism. Like, I'm trying to get a grizzly bear attack out of this. <laughs> and what the bear left behind, the scraps. We made jerky out of we papa. We made jerky out of it. We ha- Nigel, Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. It would no, be like Fjorgen. Nigel. Nigel, Nigel and Fjorgen hung up strips of papa and it dried overnight. <laughs> That's what he, And we but, gnaw. But what I ended up doing is I steered her in the wrong direction and I said, well, you know, she said, well, if I'm going to, she was considering it. And she said, well, if, if we're going to eat somebody, who do we eat? Little Timmy? And I said, no, you've no. got eight sisters. Little Timmy's not going to get you through a week. You Why know? a sister? Get, get a, get a. Older. Um, like, yeah. Somebody older. An uncle. A big fat uncle. Can I say something that's sure. never been said before? Okay. In a disaster, uncles are free eaten. <laughs> like, but I'm not even kidding. No. You can't eat your dad. Because you don't love you, a, you're an not uncle eat as your much. Mom. Right. You gotta eat the uncle. You it's sneak what up he would, on him like a panther in the night. It's what he would have wanted is what you say. It's what he was there bites. for. As he's screaming, <laughs> I don't want this, I don't want this, go. <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. It, no, wait, I'm wait, here wait. and I don't want it. <laughs> Yeah, it's so, so kind, Uncle Jim, <laughs> Uncle and Jim. he fed us. We didn't even <laughs> wait for him to die. No, we didn't wait. You we can't we, wait. We're like, starving. No, hey, look, we want to be considerate about it. We don't want to just knock his. Well, you could knock him unconscious. That's a courtesy. Is that? Yeah, but but the problem is, is that I think that she was going back and forth between um, cannibalism, and like like how would he die? Like, well, was that, it? And I said, question. well, it could be exposure, you know, he, he yeah. could just die in the in the snow. Yeah. And then she said, OK, um, we could do it that way. And I said, well, what's his name? And she said, Uncle Buck. John Candy. So this is a big meal. So now I'm thinking about defrosting yeah. John Candy, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is going to take a really long time. I want to say, talk about my Alec Baldwin moment. I didn't mean to make a John Candy's like a big guy joke, but I did. You did it. I did. And guess what? Now you're, you're off think- the air. <laughs> off Canadian television. You're off Canadian Canada television. Canada is now officially done Officially with done with no, Vancouver. I love John very if you much, piss off Vancouver. Can I just say the one place where you speak frankly about, two places, mm-hmm. about body weight, body mass index, all that stuff. One, the doctor. 
Yes. You're just going to talk about like, this is how much you weigh. You have to do it. And you're soft or you're big or you're this or you're muscly or whatever. Right. Your Two, blood pressure, whatever. It's honest time. Two, yes. in a situation where people are going to get eaten. <laughs> Nobody's going like, John, John Kenny, he was, he was, he was a kind faced, uh, brown hair. If you're going to, if you're looking to eat, you go, he's a bigger guy. And that's number one on the agenda. I have to say, like, <laughs> but how do you prepare him? His name's Candy. <laughs> so you wait, you, you, carma like, you, you caramelize him? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Come on. Like, no, you've got to put him on yes. a spit and turn him around <laughs> well, for like yes! a really long time. But you don't let the kids see that. And then when you serve him, you well, say, we caramelize no, him. No, the kids go go and see a Pioneer movie. They go watch a movie as was the way of as the Oregon the way Trail. Of the pioneers, <laughs> where they had electricity and movies. Grab an iPad, get in the covered wagon. I'm probably in that movie. <laughs> because it's a reboot and it's an a offshoot. reboot. Broderick's not in it. No. French Stewart's going to be playing. No, I'm replacing yeah, somebody. Yeah, replacing. <laughs> and on the That's what your trail. business card does. French Stewart, I'm replacing somebody. I'm replacing. Oh, I should just put that on my. I would love it. Right? And I would laugh. Can I ask you a real cannibal question? Sure. You hear the stories like alive, plane crash, you eat the dead people. Yes. Are there, or really, have you heard of stories <laughs> where me, you, and Katie are in a cabin and it's going goofy and we're going to die? Okay, and you, you me have and to Katie. murder someone. Yeah, like murder cannibal is totally different from. Well, we have these bodies, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we have these bodies. Everyone's like, well, they had the bodies, and yeah, you, and you look the other but way. No, you but have if you're to. Like, we have to get a rock. We have to make a decision. We have. It's like it, 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 draw straws. Drawing straws is only for kid parties yeah. or the worst day of well, your life. Have you, you noticed you, this? Yeah, that's right. But what you do is you look at you know you know how like you're you you have let's say you have three people, you, me, Katie. Yeah. Uh let's just say what we're all thinking, you're eating me. <laughs> like well, I'm I'm getting to that. <laughs> You know how like there's like certain people in a group where you you they're the one who take the picture. They're the because one you they're eat. not they're not the good enough one to be in the picture, and so the, they're the edible one. I'm gonna give you a daytime Emmy award for that observation. Oh, a daytime do you, Emmy. Do you want <laughs> you perk up? Do I have to go? You don't have to go. Okay. Satellite pre tape. Uh, <laughs> oh, like a Zoom thing? Yeah, like if you want a BAFTA. Oh, well, or you can go if you want. Like you're, this is I your agent I, trying I think to figure I out. Go. You, I think oh, okay, go. you can go. Yeah, um, I want. I'm going to hang out with, uh, uh, you know, people from Gervais. Uh, yeah, or or uh, from soap operas, soap opera star. Oh yeah, I was going to BAFTAs. You're saying daytime Emmy. I'm I'm going with full day. Yeah, full I mean, look DTE. At me. Look at me. I mean, you're filling in for someone. Yeah. Your observation is as good as gold. The person who takes the picture, the picture. is the person you, you eat. eat. I mean. As a stand-up, I feel very confident that we've inadvertently written a routine that will only exist here. Right. That drawing straws is either at a kid's birthday party or the worst day of your life. Yeah. And you know who you eat? It's the person who takes, who the, takes picture. the picture. Who takes the picture. You yeah. can have it. I want you to have it. You want? Should I try it? Yes. Deal. You'll do it? And I'll send You'll you- You'll try it? I'll text you the audio of it. Oh, I would like that. <laughs> I would really like that because we the gotta thing do is, it. is that you would think that it's like the, I'm writing the it down. that Katie was taking the picture because we're well, you know, Katie, we're doing the show. You could, but see, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I like Katie, and I think you have to take the picture, and then oh my god, and then me and Katie. Uh, well, that's but why, also be, just because you're so big, like yeah. you're you're tall, and you're no, like no, no. you're Let, big, like a big foot. Nothing. This is my G's moment, Jeezy Christ. Yeah, this is my oh, this is Jeezy like it's moment. a good death. We're going to die. Yeah. Not today you're not. Right. You're going to have a peep <laughs> Yeah. You're going to you're going to John Car caramelize I, my candy ass. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. and then but and then eventually how do I end? Like just a standard old heart attack? Well, the joke my revenge is you choke on me as you're eating my love handle. Oh, you, you choke. Oh, like Mama Cass. And you swear you hear my essence going, "Suck it, you." What did you call me? Well, Some kind of bitch? You oh, yeah. Cold, I, I can't remember what bitch. kind of bitch I referred so, to you as. 
<laughs> so as you're trying to eat me, I, you hear, right. suck it, you stone cold bitch. And then you die. And then Katie eats both of us. But and then no, five minutes later, rescue comes and she, she realizes no, she didn't have to eat no, anybody. No, that's not what happens. Oh, tell me. What everything. happens is I choke on you. And then Katie Heimlich's me. <gasps> and then we, we just like fall in love. That's exactly what happens. Like that's what. And then we just like off to Vegas. For uh, a, a, a quick, hasty wedding. Yeah. Like a just like. Oh, no, we go to City Hall like a couple of old pioneer oh, people like on the Oregon Gun Trail. Trail. Oregon, I Oregon. brought it back. You really did. And you we're back at divorce. Skanky bitch. You skin. Now I'm skanky. Well, I don't know why. Like, I, I just couldn't remember what the original I thing was. it was Stone Cold. We can play the tape. Oh, back. Stone Cold bitch. Stone Cold bitch. Okay, let's go. Let's stick with that. So you met her. She was da- She had. She was already divorced. Yes. From Dennis Hopper, mm-hmm. who was nutso. Yes. And is that? Maybe. We don't know. Uh, dead. He dead. He dead. Okay, then I don't feel so bad about the fact that we're being like, he was insane because, you know, I don't want Dennis Hopper after me with his with his mangled hand from Speed. No, you wouldn't. He, his, no. but, like, or, his, or his lack of his eye face. from yeah. Waterworld. Yeah, yeah. He always, they were always like, mangle that thing It was up. always something. Mangle him up. Mangle him up. But wasn't... Film I'm, him. I'm also picturing mm-hmm. uh, Anthony Hopkins, I realize. Yes. When you say Dennis Hopper, I go... Yeah. Same smell. From- I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. But you've won another daytime Emmy. Two second, daytime yeah, Emmys? Just right now. I've won them, Same though. smell. Not just nominated? Can I just say, if you're in a pitch black room, yeah. Dennis Hopper is there, living. Right. Uh, and <laughs> and living. what's his name? What's the other guy? What's Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins is there, but it's pitch black. Both living. Both are living and fine. And had time to prepare. Yeah, they sure. They dressed themselves. They bathed themselves, whatever they do. They did whatever they do. And you go around sniffing. You can't tell. The you difference. can't. Tell. That is the same. Yeah. If if essence. if you had to, if if getting out of that room was a matter of uh, discerning their smells by smell, you won't be able to do. You it. won't be able to do. You it. should just say, "Just end me now." And you know what? I'm done. Eat me. Eat, uh, so eat me you, on the Oregon Trail. She had been married. So was she? I don't know why I'm asking her age, but we were. I was picturing a younger woman. We're 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 a. Uh, uh, let me see. Because you about were... like five years off or something. Okay, okay. Like normal. So here comes a, a nice normal, and she comes in, and she's been married to Dennis Hopper, and mm-hmm. you know this. Yes. And you're like, I'm gonna be nuts. Well, no, no. Like in a Frenchy way, not in a, <laughs> in a hoppy way. Well, it was no, it was just it it, it just felt like, uh, well, how bad can I be? Yeah. And so it, I guess it. Yeah, you're right. It loosened it up a little bit. Yeah, you were, and and you kind of had a crush from the moment you saw. Mm-hmm. You were like, "I'm in." Yeah. And can I can I offer this? Set? I wish you would. I wish you would. Can I say? Yes. When you're on set, like mm-hmm. when I met you, we were on set. Yeah. That's a great you. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It's an open you. Yeah. All the fight flight mechanisms are down. You've been taken care of. Yes. Someone has dressed you. It's all they make my face look it's, better than it is. Exactly. They put like someone like Cat makes you look fantastic, and you're a little on point. Like you're a better you. Yeah, that's right. And you're you know you're okay. You you feel safe. So what I'm saying is your heart tends to be open. You're performing, so you're loosened up. Yeah, it's a great place uh, to potentially meet somebody. Conan O'Brien met his wife doing a remote, and I would like a remote for the talk show. And I was like, of course. Yeah. I've done remotes. When you're doing remotes, best you. It's the best you're wearing you. a suit. You're flirting. Oh, you're talking. But, you're you're kind of. But that's the thing. I is, wouldn't say yeah. flirting. You're engaging with everyone. Well, and, and then it's natural. and you're an active you. You're an active you. Like this podcast, the best yeah. version of me is really right. Best by noon, this you're going to be garbage. That's what I mean. I'm yeah. going to be smoking camels. Yeah, and, smoking and camels. Also eating a camel. You probably yeah. a sandwich. A camel <laughs> yeah. sandwich. Yeah, like a dromedary camel. But. Val- no <laughs> yes <laughs> Val and I do this podcast once a week just she and I fantastic because we get a little bit of the on set flavor in yes. our relationship so I'm just trying to set the stage you you see from across the set you're like what season are we in of 30 Rock oh uh, uh, it was it was like the second episode of season so one? So I was fresh as a daisy. So, okay, I like that even more. I was, I was bony and skinny and sexy. You, 
And so I was just right there. I was right in my wheelhouse. I love that you were like, I was bony and skinny and disgusting and so sexy. Yeah, just a monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't think bony. Bony doesn't usually precede sexy. Like, you're like, I was bony and young and I never looked better. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't even know. Been trying to get back to that level of bony. I should probably workshop that a little bit better, too. We'll send you to You Made It Strange. I appreciate that. So but, you, but, that, but then like my, my my like then I got married to Vanessa. I've been married to Van, Vanessa for twelve years. Uh, well, it'll be our eleventh uh, anniversary in a week. No way. And I met her doing a play. We, she was doing a play at the Geffen. I was doing a play at the other theater in the Geffen, and it was a green room romance. And Aww. so again, like it's the freshened up version of yourself. Yes. The open where you're, hearted. You're, yeah. Can I? What were you? Don't let me. Sorry to interrupt. Please where are you? You were saying you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Green room romance. Where are you? Where I? You were saying. Oh, I um, cut you off. I would go in and make a bunch of dumb jokes, and I would I would I would tell her what our date was going to be, and it was basically always a horrible date. Like where okay, I'm going to pick you up at six in the morning. <laughs> 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 And then we're driving, you know, we're driving to Fontana. Uh, we're going to see some dirt bike shows. And then, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to eat peeps. What a great meet cute. It you really pitched it, a terrible date and you did it consistently. Over and over and over again. And you wore and her heart open. But th- I wore her heart open. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you wore. I wore her heart open. <gasps> the name of your book that you guys write together. I wore her heart open. I wore her heart open. Uh, yeah, I snuck up on her like a panther in the night. <laughs> like, but, it t- but I have to do that because I can't. I'm not good at dating. Yes, I'm not good at like a. Well, it feels like an audition. I can't do it. Well, so it's a great I need film, but it's it's a job interview where there's a potential that one of you ends up naked. That's exactly right, and it's very awkward. I I, I, have a I need thirty that's days. Similar in tone, where I'm like, I love being married because I hate dating. Like, what's worse than just being like, ha, 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 what, yeah. what Harry Potter character are you? Like, <laughs> kill yourself. It's the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, you can it's the do. worst thing you can get do. married. Get intimate. Get close. That's the oh best. yeah, and then just drive it. Then just drive it, baby. Drive it like a rental car. That's right. Well, not recklessly. You got the insurance. You can trade it in for another PT Cruiser. And I did. Dang it. Can I ask you this? Sure. Be, I'm going to project me onto you, but oh, hopefully you great. like it. The reason why I set Pete is the open-hearted. It's where I make friends. It's 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 just like what we're saying, why I'm not surprised you met both of your partners in showbiz settings. Right. Is it because, like me... I find the unstructured chaos world of just random barbecues in Staten Island yes. to be so overwhelming that I tend to shut down. Yes. Hit it. Tell me everything. That's that's the deal. I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, but the thing about me is I, I I'm a I'm a sprinter. I can um, <laughs> I, love I can that. do like uh, I can do a, a period of being with people. Yes. But. Also, largely, I'm insular. Yes, and so I, uh, uh, you know, my my wife says like I'm I'm like uh, what is it like the kid from Stranger? What is it like that? Stranger Things. Yeah, from Stranger Things, 11. where like, eleven. I'm yeah. eleven. Yeah, where I'll sprint for a while and then I bleed from the nose. You, that is a great. <laughs> it joke. really is like, and it's, I'm incredibly it's what I am. similar. Are you? Yes. What do you do? Like, do you do you just like you can you can have a burst Bursts. Of, of being with people and I'm that cracking dumb everybody up in and the then 80s suddenly that you has liquid in the cell. Yes. Yeah. I'll go in and sh- razzle dazzle, and then like that's me. I don't think this was mean, but I would when we did how we roll. Yeah. I would. I would eat lunch by myself. I liked eating yes. lunch by myself. I like and to eat lunch by myself. I don't want to eat lunch with people. Thank you, because I felt a little weird saying that, but it was because I want to meditate, I want to rest, I want to eat, I want to just recharge. Yeah. Oh, you're you're on set with these people all day, and they're your friends, and you're happy, but you get that it's half a hour. Yeah. Or maybe 45 minutes, you're like, oh. I just, just want to be little. still. Quiet. Yeah, quiet. Recharge. Plug in the electric car, baby. Yeah, because the thing is, is that they're your, they're your friends. It's not like... You oh, know, no. it's not like you see, you know, Chai McBride coming and you're yeah. all like, oh, no, oh, God. You, you know, yeah, it, know, it's like you love it, but it's elevated. It's an elevated sense of yes. being with people. It's not it's not normal. Can I say the funniest thing about Stranger Things now? I wish you would. 
Stranger Th- Stranger Things season four, the scariest part is it's the awkward years. <laughs> <laughs> like the horror is yeah. just what it's like to go through puberty in front of a camera. That's exactly. That's the that's the monster exactly in season it. four is. But the word. Oh man, that's, they're that's all exactly, becoming grown ups. I I, I, I I swear I connect to that more than anything. Because but but it's largely because I'm 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 also uh, you know I'm 58 now. But I wow, st- I tell still, your face and body. Yeah, hot. you're one of those T. Cruz motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm hot as shit. No, bony no. and you're sexy. I'm bony. I I'm wouldn't sexy. have thought you were. I, I mean, we live in this town where we just constantly blow smoke. But I'm like, I w- I said earlier, if you're not our age, <laughs> yeah. No, but 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 that's the thing is that I still you look great in my heart. Yes, feel like a seventh grade boy mm. who's going to middle school. Yeah, and I think a lot of comedians and comedic actors feel that way, where they just oh, yeah. they're all, and it's why they're both wonderful and terrible. <laughs> I completely agree. Yeah. And when things go bad, if I have a bad set, a bad day, whatever it might be, that's the it. fear body or whatever you want to call it is my awkward, wet, rayon shirt, clammy hand, ruddy cheek, ju- braces boy. It's acne. Yeah. And I go, they know. They know. And then when I'm on set and I'm like, everyone here seems to think I'm a man. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. Isn't it wonderful? That I'm eating a sandwich and I'm pretending to be grown and together and, 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 and shiny. Man. Yes. And as soon as I, you know, something goes squirrely, which it does, it does. You go, everyone knows that in junior high, I was the kid that didn't get invited to the party. Yes. And now everyone knows I'm still yeah. that. You yeah. relate to that? Yes. Nobody's picking me for kickball. Yes. And I'm just going to, uh, uh, I'm just going to sit here with my acne. Yep. And and a little bit of backney, right? A little bit of backney, a little backney, and, and a little buttney. If I'm and being I, honest, I can't figure out how not to smell bad because and there's I smell no like axe Dennis spray Hopper. because it's the seventies, buddy. <laughs> if you saw me in junior high, yeah, the amount of primping I did, yes. Any, we we're like post therapy now. Like you, do you have kids? Yeah, I've got I've got a eight year old daughter. So we both, well, I have one daughter as well. Do you? So now we have kids and we're post therapy parents. Like we kind of like, yes. we just, the, the internet, television, I don't know what it is, but we all know way more than we used to know. Yes. And if you, if parents from these days or just uh, teachers from this day, they would be like, why is Pete like burning off everything with astringent, then putting on like all these smells and oil. Yeah. Why is this fucking child wearing cologne? Yes. Here's the answer. And by the way, I don't mean to put the onus on them. Uh, I'm telling you that I'm like, something's wrong with how I am. So I must put on every item from CVS. Yes. So no one smells the real me. Yes. No one sees the real hair. That's no what one I thought. Sees the re- yes, it's I thought, armor. I thought if I could, I, if I could feather my hair... And be in a leisure suit. Yeah. And if I can skate backwards, all the ladies will somehow now love me. That's right. All the boys will want to be you, and all the girls will uh, want to be yes. with you. But and I'm not. You, I'm, I, you know. But I'm king of the nerds. Of course. That's what ended up. That that is what's been interesting to me the past couple of weeks, especially, is just like is what's right under the surface mm-hmm. of you and I, and what can be kind of strange and risky about this business. Is when you when you are like at a peak, yeah, it's very tempting to believe it. Would you talk a little bit about that? Like believe the hype. Yes, I. I you were on a hit show. I'm not. By the way, yeah, you're beloved. You're great. I think you're fantastic. Oh. And there was a time when my mom would have been like screaming to see you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you get that still sometimes. It, I'm talking about yeah. those peak moments. The temptation to be like, I am. Like a living god. Yeah, that's what that's what the screaming crowds in the late night and the money. Well, you're like you and you're believe. walking through like Disneyland and people are just giving you free things. That's right. And you 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 start to they take you to the front of the line. Yeah, they take you to the front of the line. I think the problem was is that I was like I you know you would get basketball tickets and things like that and but at the same time I I just I didn't believe it. I'm glad. You feel like a guy who didn't believe it. I, I because if you did believe it. But I don't know if I didn't believe it in a like a bad way, like a low self, self-esteem no, way. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. I didn't hear you that way. I heard you going, careful, Frenchie. You yeah. call yourself Frenchie. Careful, Frenchie. Oh, I like it. 
I wonder if is it because you did so much theater before you broke into TV? What grounded you? Because you know, living in this town, you do see people yeah. believe their own hype, and I'm, if you live by it, you also die by it. I I, I always like I got this uh, advice from uh, like an old actor just saying, "Take Dennis the Hopper. best job, <laughs> not him. <laughs> yeah, do a bunch of drugs, do a bunch of drugs, <laughs> do a bunch of drugs, and let them put a prosthetic on you." Way oh go. no, no, it was like it was just he said, "Just take the best like." job in front of you and so that's what i've always done Where, and if it's like if, if it's something really good that's great and if it's some weird children's show that's fine like but i'm just very pragmatic you know who else said that to me who paul bettany oh really and i was like you have this interesting career like you did this and all these art house films and then you were an avenger and he's like i don't know i don't know where people get this whole idea that's not even the right accent. That that I'm out there. No, I like it. Curating. I'll keep doing it. Curating me career. Me career, mate. He's a Cockney. <laughs> yeah. He's not. He doesn't even say Paul. Paul Bettany. Paul which is how Bettany. I say it. Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey. P O O H. You Poo. lanky bitch. You lanky bitch. I'm not <laughs> Avenger. I'm Vision. Vision's not in the team. He oversees it. I'm actually really liking your Paul Bettany. This is a great Paul Bettany. Yeah, it is. I am married to Jennifer Cornelay. Cornelay! And, and, and she was in Top Gun. She replaced the woman who aged. Fuck <laughs> off. Remember? Oh, wait, she's not playing that woman. But oh. Val and I saw Tom, Top Gun and we were like, is she supposed to be the woman from the first one? No, that's not. Can't it's figure it out. <laughs> Can't so figure it out. you were saying, take the best job. Paul Bettany agrees with you. Yeah, just that be pragmatic. And, you know, a lot of times it's just about putting braces on a kid. Or, yeah. or like if you if you're lucky enough to have a pool about you know cleaning it or yeah cleaning your pool or getting a pool or getting a pool yeah yeah, yeah. anything or lowering your anxiety stroke yeah I, I like when I had my um I I had a fancy house uh oh, up on Do Doheny in West Hollywood mm. and I lived across from uh, Halle Berry and I remember thinking like oh that house caused me more stress. Just because it was the the amount of money to maintain it, and yes. the amount of just effort to get a job or go do a Hallmark movie, so I could keep that house. Oh, you meant your house? Yeah. I thought you meant looking at Halle Berry's house. She lived across the which street, which I'm assuming was covered in berry bushes. No. <laughs> Holly, Holly climbing up the side, and yeah. raspberries, blueberries, strawberries. No, but on the what, front. like one day, what happened was like the you know the uh, tour buses that come by, and they're like, oh, and that's Halle Berry's house, and blah 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 blah, and that's Winona Ryder's house. Well, and I remember I was coming out, and I was just taking my trash out, and I was wearing shorts and cigarette. A, yeah. Yeah, I'm just smoking a cigarette. No Joseph Gordon questions. <laughs> yeah. And I come you out the and, the guy, and the like, yeah, the, the uh, tour guide goes, oh, and there's French Stewart. And there was a woman there with a camera and she went, oh, like she was very disappointed I by me. need that story yeah. framed in my bathroom so I see it every day. Right. She, because, it, because she it's... was just like, she dropped her camera. I couldn't be more disappointed. And I just remember thinking like, well, fuck, man. <laughs> like, and I, but I feel like it ties into you saying, it sounds like we get rid of this house. And it sounds like you were learning the lesson that you now know, which is like, really don't believe it. Oh. Because even when you're living across from Halle Berry and the show's on, yeah. it's still, you can't tie your sense of value to whether or not a woman takes your picture or not. Yeah. And it sounds like you already knew that, but you saw it. And you feel it. The universe was, yeah. I'm going to say something nuts, kind enough to be cruel to you in that moment. Yes. To, to go like, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. It's true. Right? It, it really is. It's like, it, it's a weird reminder. I mean, I remember. Like, I like, love that story. I hate it. And I love it. It, it, I yes. hate it and love it too. Yes, yes. Keep going. For but you. like, but it was, a, you know, there was a moment with my wife where we got into uh um, a, a big argument, and this was like what almost ended it, but it was. Uh, this is number one. This is number one. The yeah. first Mrs. Stewart. Boo! <laughs> How about that? Fun. <laughs> and and basically, like gimlet. we had this place in Lake Tahoe, and so I drove up to Lake Tahoe, and I was just very mad at her, and I sat down in a casino, and I was like, you know, I'm not even religious, but I'm like, God, I need a sign. I need to know what to do. I like. 
I, I need some sort of sign, like if I should leave or if I should stay. I play a hand of poker on a machine and I instantly hit a royal flush and I make like $2,500, just bang. Whoa. There's my, there's my sign. And so then I... That's interesting, because I'm like, is that a sign to leave or a sign to stay? It's a sign to... I stayed for like another seven years. Because of the royal flush. I I I wasn't specific about the sign. That's the problem. You have to say if... You got to say... If I I should leave. Should I stay or should I go now? To to quote the clash. Yeah. And if you go, there will be trouble. But if you stay, it will be double, so you should go. You should go. Yeah, that's that's a bit of If you go, it should be trouble. That's literally half the trouble. If you stay... It'll be double, so don't stay. I doubled it. I clash doubled it. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, mm-hmm. I've had moments in relationships that were like, and I wonder, you don't have to share this. I'm sharing this. I've been in relationships where I'm like, this is wrong. But often the wrong ones have these high highs. Yeah, that's and what then that was. really low lows. Like the yeah. worst, like, like I, I was almost 300 pounds, drinking constantly, smoking cigarettes, just like a mess. Yeah. And then we'd have like the best day of our lives. Like yeah. absolute. I'm saying the relationship yeah. itself had borderline personality. No, disorder. no, that's absolutely right. And that, then, but that's the thing that. Like, but I wouldn't be like, I'm out. And then some weird yeah. sign would happen and I'd, and I'd stay another year or something. like. Yeah. Really and you're like, what, what am I doing? Yeah. Like, what am I? This like, like my wife now, it, like Vanessa, we've been together again. Like it'll be. 11 years. 11 years. And she. Uh, we're very even and we're very. Frenchy. I think the thing that I learned in the first relationship is to just be careful with your words mm. because you say something to somebody that you can't take back and it just sits in their heart like a, 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 a awful explosion mm. and it just comes up over and over again. And so I just try to be really, and we're just very gentle. And my kid is like very easy. Mm. I don't have to do anything other than just not mess her up. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was, but I was lucky because I was 50 when she was born. I had one sperm left and he dog paddled his way to victory. <laughs> on, That's what on a down. boogie board. He needed yeah, on a board. boogie board. He oh. needed, oh, he needed plenty yeah, of help. Yeah. And you had to, if I may, you had to go after the, fight. oh yeah. Just a little wind. Uh, oh yeah. A little bit of wind. <laughs> Uh, maybe like a, a tugboat. Thank you for joining he me need, in that He needed weird a tugboat. Yeah. He needed a little boat that was inserted. This is a medical procedure. That's right. A tiny tugboat. A tiny tugboat. For one that... sperm, your one remaining sperm. We right. have the uh, the. Sonogram. And then he just fell into an egg yeah. like he tripped. It was mostly to rest. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, that looks <laughs> like a really, safe place It was more about fall. sleep. Yeah. He didn't want to make a baby. No, he did and not. And then you had a baby when you were 50. How about that? I love it and I need it. Yeah. I tell, I, I always uh tell my wife like look uh, uh, I can get her through college and then everything else is just a problem for her stepfather <laughs> you, know? you are a living legend can I go back one click out well, yeah. I want to get to your daughter for sure that's such a beautiful thing what are what are talk about those words that's a, that's great advice the reason I like talking about divorces is because like you I'm divorced and now I'm in I'd use the same words even yeah. safe yeah gentle it's she's my greatest adventure too but it's not because we're having huge fights and then making up it's not this no it's like it's like a this it's like it's, we have like yeah it just we goes. have novelty and then we have normal weeks and then we have novelty and we have normal that's weeks. exactly right it. that's it special weird times and then just a lot of ordinary times yeah like like we just like a lot of it is uh, i mean we can we can sit in a room together and not talk Yes. Like can be, you know, just just Beautiful. still or quiet in a space together. Yes. But Val it's also, also she's ahead. she's very uh I I think she really understands me and hmm. she is uh she gets mad maybe twice a year and then, you know, I'm going to Tiffany's cuz she's she's right. Hmm. She's just right, you know, and she's very gentle. I'm going to Halle Berry's house. I'm picking straws, bloobs, straws and bloobs <laughs> and a little bit of that Holly and I'm going to yeah, yeah. flip off my old Any house. Any Wait for the TMZ bus. Say, I'm French Stewart, motherfuckers. Get your film out. Yeah, get your camera out. Get your cam I want film I'm gonna, photos. I'm going to do two different looks. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change clothes. Tell you can me, just keep this idling. Be, here's why I'm asking this question. Because people say things that live in your heart. That was like poetry, what you said. 
and and like a terrible explosion. Yes. What is something that just like burrowed in your heart that bothered you or, or something that you said? Because the people that are saying things like this, it doesn't have to be exactly, but the people that are saying things like this probably don't know yeah. what it sounds like when you're saying something that might have just fucked up somebody's life. Yeah. I, I, I had an agent who um, said, we need to redo your photos. And I said, oh, okay. Why? And he said, well, your head looks like a potato and your nose looks like a smaller potato that was stapled onto the larger potato. <laughs> and now is I can't... Is your agent Don Rickles? Like, <laughs> yeah, what is happening? I no, I know. And now I, I can't, like, I can't unsee it. Like, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, yeah, it kind of... French, can I say something? Yeah, it does, right? No. Uh, fuck, no? Fuck no. Let's, let's print out that joke 100,000 times and make a big bonfire out of it. <laughs> okay. Because it's only true in the sense that that's true of everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's Everybody's it. head looks like a fucking potato with a potato stapled to it. I guess that's true. That's the whole concept of Mr. Potato Head, one of the biggest <laughs> toys of all time. People playing with potatoes before Mr. Potato Head yeah. picked the potato for its human head-like qualities. Yeah, yeah. And they weren't like, this looks like a freak. They were like, this looks like a human head. This is a human head. Potato is normal. In fact, you go to the doctor and you're like, I'm worried about the shape of my head. They go, what are you talking about? You got a perfect potato. That's the clinical term. So who's your agent? What agency? That UTA? May... WME? I can't Let's remember who it was that did it. It was like a small agent, but I, I just remember thinking like, shit. Okay. Yeah, well, that'll bar that's but, a terrible explosion. But now, like, but it's the same thing I like uh I got kicked out of Disneyland for smoking pot on the people mover. And it used to be a thing where it was just, it was like a tram. It was a tram. And then yes, I've been on I got, the tram. Yeah. And I got off of the people mover and then there were two bobbies. Like th this was back like in Paul the eighties when they were like hello, dressed. Yeah. Hello, governor. I understand you're having a bit of the wacky tobacco. Yeah. Come with me, mate. Smoking some and of that. Yeah. yeah, go on. And so they take me to uh, uh, Disney Jail, which was, where Goofy is most of the time. Where it's mostly just Goofy because Goofy can't stop being Goofy. It's his name. <laughs> he can't. It's so he's knocking nature. shit over, it's pushing nature. kids by the face. Yeah, yeah. With that huge puffy white hand, he pushes them. Yeah, in the he face. just pushes them. He doesn't Gorsh. understand his strength. <laughs> they go flying. Yeah, they go flying. Goofy, he's just, and he's like, Ooh. "Oh no!" You know what Disney Jail is? Pirates of the Caribbean, and you have to be beckoning the dog with the key. Oh, that's what with the bone. Oh, that's, that's where they is. should put people. And then on the ride, you're shamed. They go, "There's Johnny Depp. There's, Johnny there's Depp. Uh, the real life French Stewart. There's a woman on the boat. She goes, oh, oh. <laughs> and it's not because they don't allow photographs. It's because she's deeply it, it, disappointed. It, it, it's a sadness. It's yeah. just a, a, a and then ride she takes a picture of the animatronic Johnny Depp. <laughs> she's like, "This is worth it. Not oh, that. Not that. That would be a good Disney jail. But what is real Disney jail? Oh, uh, it was a." It, it seemed like somebody's like a uh, lunch break room. Sure. Where they just sat me down and then they told me, um, they showed me a picture of me smoking pot on the people mover. And I was like, okay, all right, I got it. Did the picture and have like a cartoon border that said, like, you can fly? No, it was more, it was <laughs> like more, an imposed it was more prison. Jessica Rabbit. No, yeah, like, no, is on no, it. It, was a, no. it was a bad photo. It was like going yeah, through a it, red light. It no, was it wasn't ticket. like when you're coming off the ride and you're yeah. like, woo! Oh my God! They, we use oh, that we actually great. use the uh, the log flume technology to capture this photo of you. How great would that be? Oh, now I just want to restructure their jail system. <laughs> we could do it. We could do Were it. Were there children around, Frenchie? Um, mm, I don't think so. I don't remember yeah. any. You, I mean, most people. But you're gonna I, go to the. But back. they told me like when they let Outdoor me go, tram. they sat me down for like an hour, and then they let me go, and they said. Never come back. They said? Yeah. The Disney people said, never come back. And so now, still, when I take my daughter to Disneyland, oh, I, yeah. I'm still a little bit like... You're on the lookout. I'm on the... Like, it hits me. I'm like, do they have like a... There's going to be a guy swinging NCIS a... photo <laughs> that like shows me like 30 years ago even if or... they did they'd be like well clearly this is a joke this is french stewart that's that's just like an example of what a picture a might joke look. Of yeah what... this potato guy can't come here <laughs> but i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> mr potato face oh no double but, potato but it's still like i think i'm such a rule follower buddy that i still sort of 
I don't know. Oh. I'm not going to look. I, I want to <laughs> join you in my rule break in your rule breaking in the most wonderful place, magical place, happiest place. It's on the earth. happiest place on earth. I did a gig. I'm going to tell the story 30 seconds. I did a gig for Disney and it was great. It was like a corporate show at Disney World. And afterwards, they were like, you can go to any park you want. But after the yeah. show, the only one that's open is Epcot because one park stays open till midnight. So I finished the show. I go up to the ticket booth. It's closed. And I go, wait, what is this? And they're like, oh, the, the park is open till 12, but the ticket booth closes at 7. And I'm like, but I, like, what, I love Disney so much. One of the main reasons I did the gig was to go to, to the park. To the park. And I had my, my friend with me that was like the, the escort. is like a Comedy Central show. My friend from Comedy Central was there. And I was like, but we want to go to Epcot. So we go to, have you heard the story? Maybe I've never told it before on the I mean, That's impossible, but I, I can't think of when I told it. Anyway, we go up to the gate, and you know how they have the tags that say, like, Kim, and it says, like, yeah. Bloomington, Indiana, like where they're from. Right. She's got to be 17. She really looks super, super young. And I just, I'm like, I'm going to Jay Holmes this stuff. That's my dad. I'm like, I'm going to talk my way into Epcot. I'm like, hello, I'm only here for one night. I just did a show. They told me I could go into the park, but I didn't go to the ticket booth in time. Would you please just let us in? Because it's not like the people with tickets wear like sparkly caps and right. everyone knows. Just let me in. Like, let I'm, me in. I'm thinking, like you. Do me a what solid. What is the policy in a place where everything screams, yes, you can have whatever you want. We just want you to be happy. Yeah. It's magical. Disney, uh, like Mickey Mouse owns this place. Please just be happy here. I'm like, if I just do an earnest plea, clearly she'll let me in. Because you're good, you're Jimmy Stewart. You're a good oh, man who I, just. I, I did a stand-up uh, comedy show. I just did a show. <laughs> I, did, I just did a show. Uh, uh, for the love of God, <laughs> please. My my ticket's not here. It's in Judy's house. It's in Jimmy's house. Please let me in. And this young woman doing her job. I'm not mad at this woman. She goes, I can't. I can't let you in without a ticket. Yeah. And I'm like, again, I'm the, I'm getting into Epcot. Like, it's going to happen. I don't mean I'm going to bully my way in. I'm just like, I understand. Like a salesman. I'm like, I understand. You don't want my knives. You don't want this set of knives. What if I told you they can cut a penny? Like, I'm not I'm not going to stop the sale. Yeah, yeah. So I do it again. I'm like, I'm telling you, please ask anyone. From my heart. From my heart. I did the show. You're not going to get in trouble. They told me I could go in the park. Please. And she's like, again, I, I just can't. Then she opens the gate because it's a turnstile to get in. And that's what you have to scan a ticket on. She opens the gate for a woman pushing a stroller. So, and I start walking behind the woman with the stroller. Sure. And I do. look the woman, the young Kimmy from Bloomington, Indiana, in the eye, and I, I beckon my my uh, my friend to come with me. I go, Kimmy, I'm gonna walk through the gate now, and if anyone stops me, I'm gonna tell them that you told me I couldn't, and that you tried to stop me, but then I just ran through. Like, so you're in the clear. You're in the clear, Kimmy. You're in the clear. I'm telling you, if anyone stops you me. You can go back to Bloomington You'll go tomorrow. back to Bloomington and you'll be employee of the month. Because I could tell she wanted to let me through. She wanted to, but she couldn't figure out the but avenue to get you through. There was no verbal way to do it. It was like a forgiveness rather than permission. I was yes. looking for permission. I was like, please forgive me. I said that. I was like, I'm so sorry. you're just sorry. drifting through. And it's like happening, you, Kimmy. Like you, exactly. And we crossed this huge bridge and I, the whole time, I'm waiting for a hand on my shoulder. I'm waiting yeah. for Goofy to be like, Gorsh, Gorsh, come with me. And oh, you're in no. there with a joint. Like, you're going to the pokey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's Epcot. So once you cross over, you're in Japan. And I literally felt like we had left the country. Yeah. And I was like, we're safe now. Oh, it's it's We've Midnight Express. In. You're like, it just you're just... We were clear. Yeah, you were clear. And it clear. was one of the best because of the rule-breaking element. And of course, yeah. we never got caught. How are you going to get caught? And Kimmy, of course, never got in trouble. Nobody knew. Nobody, Nobody knew. knew. Nobody knew. But it was it made the night even better. Yeah. So I wonder if your trips to Disney now are a little bit richer because you're like it's a little bit better because it's it's like it's a good. St oh, I've got a oh, I've got a story. I was doing a movie for Disney, and it was a children's movie, and I'm not going to say what it was, but um, I was doing a lot of my own stunts back then. Live action. Yes. And, you know, there's always a precocious redheaded kid pushing you out of a treehouse or whatever. Oh, sure. It's like a kid's movie. Yeah. And so I, they were like, hey, we want to we wanna give you a massage. Like, we want to offer you a massage. And I said, okay. And, and they said, just go anywhere and just send us the bill. And so I was in New Orleans. 
And so I go to this place. I'm just like, it's blocks away. I walk through the door and suddenly I was like, wow, this is a lot of red velvet. Like this is like, I'm not sure if this is a massage massage. And I get up there and suddenly, you know, I'm like, uh, the woman is like giving me this really perfunctory massage. And then she's like, do you want to, do you want to flip over? I was in, I had a very similar experience. My girlfriend at the time and I ate a space cake in Amsterdam. And if, and if you don't know what a space cake is, usually we would split one. Space cake is a very, very strong weed edible. Yeah. This is like 20 years I've ago. I've never done well with edibles. Like they always These just, are the edibles. I can't judge them. This is the edible when people are like, you know, you can't really judge an edible. They mean space cakes in Amsterdam. It's like tourist trap. Yeah. Nightmare. I don't know if it's hash. It's like You're going to go crazy. It's fuck. And we've been smoking pot and eating pot every day in Amsterdam. Yeah. And after after a while, when you're doing at least when I'm doing it every day like that, when I was a young man, you almost stop noticing. You yeah. just kind of like now you're just in a museum looking at a Van Gogh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. You're all high, like checking out where Anne Frank was hiding. Yeah, that's also not a fun high, no. high day. <laughs> I really did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> yeah, so on the yeah, last that day... That comes out your high. No, Anne Frank for does. For sure, for sure. <laughs> when you, we ate the whole space cake yeah. on our last day and stoned out of our minds, just like you, I, we were like, let's get a massage. Me and my girlfriend. So this wasn't like a gentleman of the night looking for f- foul play. It wasn't <laughs> shady. Know. It wasn't shady at all. It was but just the ha- first place we found what brought it to mind was I was like, this is a lot of red velvet. But there were signs yeah. everywhere that said massage only, no sex. And I was like, it's Amsterdam. Prostitution is legal. Like sex work is legal. Yeah, they're like in windows. So you can exactly like Gary Busey. <laughs> like Gary, exactly <laughs> like Gary Busey. Who doesn't want that? There's a Busey on every third There's window in the Busey red light district. Everywhere. Hey, gong. Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot the glass every time. Then he does the gong. Yeah, yeah, like you, a bird. A very you've got a, a bird. hot Busey. Yeah, and then it becomes the the one everyone wants to see. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, if I'm very high. Very high, like out of my body high. Yeah. But I'm like, if it was a sex place, it would say massage and sex. Like, it's not right. New York City where they're going to be like, kind of like. It's It seems specifically like they were saying there was not sex. There's no sex. So we go in. My girlfriend goes with one person. I go with another person. She says, take off all your clothes. I, at this point, I've had more massages now, so I know that's normal, but that was really weird to me at the time. Right. I was like, because I'm still kind of worried that it's sex. Yeah. I take off all my clothes uh, because she really insisted. I was like, I, I, oh, I left my underwear on. She came in and she said, all your clothes. And I was like, ah! <laughs> like, I went, how you European? I, I like <laughs> yeah. took them off. Yeah, you just think you're on a nude beach in in, in France. Precisely. Yeah. I'm going full France, but I'm down. I'm, 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 I'm business down. So she's just gotcha. getting the hams. And she puts, a bl- <laughs> she puts a blanket over the hands. And then she gives me a massage that was so bad, that's when I knew it that's was going to be That's how you sex. know. A perfunctory massage That's is what how also you brought know. She's, I mean, like, it bang, was bang, bang. horrible. Terrible. You know how when even an amateur just kind of rubs your shoulders, you're like, oh, thank you. This was a nightmare. This was no like, this pressure. is the part before I Bef- get to the action. Before... I think it was a hand job palace. Mm-hmm. I, that's why I think the sign said no sex. It was like no sex, just hand jobs. But I'm like, that's still a sexual act. Yes. And it's Amsterdam. Just put on the thing. No sex, parentheses, except hand jobs. Except Like for that's him. what we're about. Right. You could call the place. Hand job palace. Hand job palace. Yes. $7 a hand job. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it could just, you could call it that. That's the whole point. But they're still being kind of like. So anyway. Well, maybe like Handy Mountain. You know what I mean? Like, like, give it a John Handy, John Handy, <laughs> a John Handy callback. Wow! And then we just come a all Jack the way Handy. back around. Oh, a Jack Handy. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts. So she, at one point, I remember she goes, "Pete." She asked my name, and I was like, "Why does she want to know my name?" Why is she saying my name? And I'm like, I said Pete, and immediately I was like, "Why did I tell her my real name?" If there was any time to be Skip McGavin. Yes. It was this moment. But yes. I go, if there were, was ever time to be Darth McFunksenton. I'm so stoned and so nervous. Yeah. I just go, Pete, like I'm this person's bossing me around, basically. You, Take off all your clothes. What's your name? Pete. And she, then she at one point kind of implies for my area. And she goes, Pete. And I go, no, 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 not for, not for Pete, not for Pete. 
uh, I just the massage. And she goes, really? And I go, yeah, really? And she, like, she's just baffled by your lack of interest. I'm telling you, I used to tell the story on stage. I was like, that's probably the weirdest thing she's ever seen is somebody that was like, I'm just here for stress management. I, <laughs> like, I literally I'm, just my muscles hurt. Yeah, just my muscles hurt. And then what happened after I said no several times, she just goes, okay. And then goes back French to the worst, to the worst massage of my life yeah at one point she sat me up it's cold in the room by the way i'm cold and she cracks my neck i'm like this woman is obviously not licensed in massage now she's just dabbling in chiropractic <laughs> i'm like i think i just got injured and dabbling I'm thinking, in chiropractic all, all i I'm can't doing, feel my feet yes now i i have no sensation in this foot <laughs> since that day the whole time like i just wasn't a grown-up yet at this time i'm like 28 years old and i'm like I yeah. wasn't a grown up. I could have just said like, there's been a misunderstanding. I'll still pay, but I'd like to leave. But I didn't want to embarrass anyone. Yeah. So I was looking for a way to go, like to leave. Yes. And then finally she says, are you cold? Because I was like, probably looked cold. And I was like, that's it. I'm cold. I'd like to go. She said, oh, no. What about your bath? And I'm like, I'm not staying to find what out about what my the bath, bath? is. What's going to go down there? Like, what's happening like in the bath? Hey. No bath. <laughs> is it no. water? Is it lube? I don't want a bath. Yeah. But what about your special outfit? Where you... <laughs> 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 like, like, wait, what? No, what, a, what about your in. outfit? And uh, at this point, I, again, I've told this story on stage, but like, I was like, I need to get out of here. Who knows what's happening to my girlfriend? Like I didn't know is she declining? Oh yeah, it's a double it's a double concern. <laughs> At this point I was still pretty religious and was like not I wasn't going to be like not into it. Hey, what did you do? That sounds groovy. Like I was like we got we both have to get out of here and I have to like rescue both of I us. I have to rescue both of us. I left and I go uh, she she tried to start this thing even though all the signs said no sex. And I was like what did you do? And she just went it was the best massage of my life. She just got a great massage. Like a fantastic, non-erotic. By the way, th she was the only woman in the place. That's for fuck sure. No, <sighs> there were no women in the that, That's the first thing. Are there other women in the waiting room? No, if it's a lot of guys like scratch, and then kind of like, you know what I mean? Get out of there. That is like, that's insane. Like, like but, that, but the other thing about a massage is that I'm good for about like, 10 minutes of that's all you like, like and then i don't want anymore i just want you would have loved this massage <laughs> <laughs> okay tell me i i'm very that is an interesting factoid I'm, i actually kind of feel bad that you don't love massage because i it's like one of my favorite it's one of your favorite things in the world yeah it's just not for me like i, I like i like a little bit like i like a uh uh to go to a chiropractor and like get a back crack is that right yeah, but, you have like, a good but one? They, he gets mad at me because like, like what he does is he puts on the electricity the and then he thing. and then he yeah, and then he leaves and he says I'll be back in a minute. And then I always reach over and I crank it up like a like a Frankenstein because I like to I like to get some electricity going and then you want to feel like it's massaging you basically. Yeah, like I I don't know what it is, but he'll he'll be like and then he'll come back and he'll go French. Don't don't touch the knob. Yeah. Don't touch the knob. Don't leave the knob in the reach distance of French. Yeah. I've got if arms you, like a yeah. gibbon. Look at them. Look at those gib arms. Gib arms. Oh. <laughs> You're a delight and a, and a treasure. Let's, I love you. What I love you too. What happened? Uh, you said it was almost over in the casino. Yeah. In your first one, which we agree was a little bit more like this. Yeah. What, what ended it? Um, and how did it end? Oh, it, it ended because we were both sitting in therapy. So you tried. You, you were yeah, making we tried. a good go. Yeah, we tried. And we were just sitting in therapy. And ultimately, uh, the therapist said, well, does this maybe feel like it's over? And then we just kind of looked at each other. And nobody said anything. And then from that point, it was just sort of over what a cinematic moment it really was yeah and then we um we got a mediator because we didn't want to get a bunch of lawyers in i just basically told her like you know take the half you want i don't want any animosity or anything and so French. they said well what we want to do is like we want to have a post-it picture like post-it party where you walk around and you each have a, a certain color of post-it 
It's like the opposite of a registry, a, a exactly. marriage registry. Yeah. You did yeah. a divorce registry. A divorce registry. Do you want to put this behind you? No. <laughs> Not just, what the I'm good. Actually, no, I no, don't. No, Pete, this is my space. <laughs> Don't fuck with my space. <laughs> don't 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 enter my space, Pete. Unless, well, I mean, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm that way. I'm like, I'll take affection in any way. In any like, way, shape, anybody or that form. wants to flirt with me, if 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 a if a man, I'm not gay, but if if a man wants to be like, hey, I'll, I'll be like, all right. Oh, I'm telling you, anytime like a gay man has ever paid me a compliment, I've been like, oh, oh I feel pretty. God. That's like almost the prettiest you'll ever feel. I'm so with you, and I'm a little embarrassed to admit that. All my musician friends, I want them to write songs about me. Yes. Let me tell you about a funny man. The funny, 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 funny man. man and Pete. The lanky, yet he armed man. Pete is complete. Waiting for that. Yeah. And all my gay friends, I'm waiting for them to be like, look, I'm just saying. I know we're friends, but. Right. Holy but if shit. it came down to it and you holy were feeling like you had a weird night. Yeah. You'd be the John Candy. Oh. I'd eat you first. Oh, defrost and eat you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why this is so amusing to me. Which part? Just all of it. The whole thing? Yeah. Tell me what you put the post-its on. Oh, um you're like at one point <laughs> you're doing dumb shit. Yeah. Rubber chicken. She's like Yeah, she's like mayonnaise. Yeah, she's like putting it on a, like a, you know, a 50,000 piece of art and I like put it on a dog. <laughs> Like a dog walked by, and I was just like, oh, a man. A single ping pong paddle. Yeah. That's for French. <laughs> yeah. She's an oriental rug that's worth a million dollars. And then I do the ball. Yeah. And then yeah. I do the other. Pa- like, and meanwhile, she's like walked off with everything. That's A crazy. chandelier. But I do love the mediator. I love that you wanted it to be amicable. And I love that you did. Was it an even-handed post-it session? It was. Uh, you know, it ultimately was. I mean, we we... You know, there wasn't any animosity. We still, yeah, you know, I talked to her last week. Yeah, but uh, but it's just uh, I I think I was I, I was with her for fourteen years, and uh, I think I don't know maybe that was just my best before date. Mm. Like like I'm like like if you look at a can, I think I'm good for fourteen. <laughs> oh my god, canned Stewart. Oh, it's yeah, the last fourteen years. Oh. Well, it's well, not bad. All right. That's not bad. It's not bad yet. That's a long time to be with somebody for It you. is. Yeah. But I was always, even before that, I was kind of like a serial monogamist. Yep. Like even any girlfriend, it was like two years or three same years. Or, same I was, thing. I was always about a year and a half with yeah. everybody. I always think that, um, you know, between a relationship, I want to go on a, 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 a fuck about where I'm just like, go cr- Paul crackers. Benny, a good old fashioned fuck about. A good old fashioned fuck about. <laughs> But I, then I get there and I'm not, I'm just not wired that way. Yeah. No, I understand. I, intimacy guys, like it's always been more, yeah. I know that like I've always wanted to go in and brush my teeth while Val's in the bath, which is an image I'm really getting from the movie. Don't look now. <laughs> but like, I've always just wanted intimacy and familiarity. It's the same thing I want with my friendships. Like, yes. I want safe places. I want to co-regulate. Um, that's right. I want I a kind face looking back at me. Yeah. Just simple things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're buddies now. You and I are buds. Yeah. Yeah. Casual sex was never. Uh, I I certainly gave it a go and and enjoyed it. Yeah. But I was never like some people seem to do it and they're like this. The, yeah. This. Yeah, this is what I'm into. This is it. Yeah. No. And then when they get married, they're like, oh, like the bachelor. Yeah. The bachelor party where it's like it's your last chance to have sex with a stranger. I'm like. That's a that, like that's never made sense to me. Me either. You just found your person, and you're like, "But one more binge before I start the diet." Yeah, it really <laughs> like your your wife is a diet. Yeah, you're marrying like, Jenny like, Craig. Like, like the bloom is off the rose. Like before you've even like done that's the a, vows, you're fucked. Yeah. If that's your bachelor party, if the if the attitude to me is like one like one more steak before I go vegetarian, I, it, that, <laughs> like get out of here. I I didn't enjoy my bachelor party like i didn't even want it like i i don't i don't enjoy a strip club because i don't want a woman who's trying to get through law school staring at me as if she cares about me that's right i just don't feel it yeah i don't like it i've never i've said this many times i've never been aroused in a strip club and i me either and it's always bachelor parties where i've where i've been given the opportunity and i'm always just like this is i think it's because of show business yeah i'm not calling it bad acting but like when Val and sorry to be over Sherry, but when Val and I have sex, what makes it good sex is like is a connection, a connection. Is, is like a trust. I'm not saying we can't 
just have a good old fashioned fuck about every once in a while. Sure. But even that is like, it's real. It's, it's like just a was connection. Safe and real. But somebody just being like, first of all, a fake name. My name is Mercedes. Yeah. They have a star glittery thing on their face. I'm just like, and then suddenly I have to listen to Bon Jovi. <laughs> it's just. Why do I? Like, why am I listening to Brett Michaels all of a what sudden? What did I miss <laughs> that so much of the male populace seems to be like boner time is Bon Jovi, yeah, a girl named Xerox, and me sitting next to my friend as I'm being ground, yeah, ground a bunch upon. of dudes. Yeah, I, I don't. It, it's maybe the least erotic thing. I used to have a, again. It's not a joke. Like an erotic club to me would be like a regular looking person. Yes. I don't, you'd have to, like, we're on a bus together and we have, like, a soul. Well, flight. That, but that's the thing. It's, like, even anytime, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, into porn. Like, I don't. No I, porn. I, I don't really enjoy it. Interesting. But, but if I, if it, if I do, if we're, like, me and my wife are at a hotel or something, I don't want to see some, like, flashy porn. I want to see, uh, like, amateurs. Yeah, real people. But I also don't want to see somebody who looks like they're boyfriend talked them into a situation you are my correct special you know my favorite I, this is over sherry i like amateur and they're by themselves you know why oh best chance everyone's having a good time oh that's i'm here masturbating you're there masturbating everything's clean let's let it go but i, I forget who has this bit somebody has a stand-up bit where it's like you hear some accent that betrays the conceit Oh. Like it looks like it's just like fun bubble bath time, and then you hear someone right. be like, nicht, 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 and you're like, "This oh, was no. this was out of necessity. This was out. This of necessity. wasn't just like a voyeur that was like it turns me on. That's always the hope. No, it's like somebody got trafficked. Yeah, that's or something. I mean, honestly, I don't know. that's what you're saying. That's that's the the horrible truth is you're like, is this is this not okay? And no one's talking about it. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't mind like you know I'm I'm in full support of a sex worker who just chose their life right but but if it's a bad situation oh my gosh there's so much that fucking forget just, it and then the minute you be become the father to a daughter i'm just like my wife is like oh if anything ever happens you'll go to jail you know that right like you'll you'll kill anybody who uh compromises your daughter. yes yeah like taken I hate it. Yes. Yeah, that's the whole they yes. made a whole trilogy based on that that feeling. Yeah. And that that's one of the weird things because not to be super spiritual, but who's not your maybe not your daughter, but who's not your sister? That yes. that's when it gets complicated is you're like where and I've actually had people you'd be surprised. I I'll talk about porn and and how it I I don't feel great about it and I've actually had women come up to me and be like like fuck you, dude. Like some women, like they're defending the other side, like right. trying to own other people's sexuality. So I've kind of been yeah, like, yeah. maybe I should stop poo pooing it. One thing's for sure, everyone should be getting paid more. That is something I'm like oh. adamant about. If if Thirty Rock from the from the Sun was on uh, Pornhub, lawsuits up the waz. Yeah, you can't just have. <laughs> you can't just NBC yeah. owns NBC, right? Yeah, they own that. 900 lawyers would be there and shut down and then make you pay out the nose. But as soon as you shoot a porno, it's uploaded onto a website the next day. Yeah. And nobody's... So somebody who's literally doing a very difficult... Everybody involved is doing a difficult thing. Yeah. It's like Spotify no for your body or something. It it's is. Just, it, it's, yeah, Spotify. It's, it's Spotify. It's Spotify. Oh. So even if... Let's like, start Spotify. Let's not even... Even though we're not into porn at all. And you know what... <laughs> <laughs> the 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 thing that bringing it into the light and being like these people should be paid would do is make it more glaringly obvious when it is a bad situation. Yeah. It's like legalizing weed. It's like, let's legalize this. Let's get it out of the stigma, out of the shadows. Yeah. Because people are dying for it. People are going to jail for it. Lives yeah. have been ruined for it. I don't mean I mean, there's the still soapbox, people but. in jail in Texas for having like a little bit of weed in like they, doing like 20 years you know my my cousin skis <laughs> <laughs> i just wanted to say skis i like saying skis for my drug dealer name i'm happy but no it's it's fucking it's a tragedy it's madness it's madness and that that's there's there's certainly a a, a porn equivalent that that oh, should sure. happen but no u.s president We'll get very far to be like, and the first thing I'm going to do I'm is your porn president. Take, I'm going to be the porn president. I'm going to take the cobwebs out of the industry. I like that he's from Boston. I am from uh, Chattapigwick or whatever that is. 
Uh, if you do a uh, hardcore porn, you get money. You will get money for porn. Every time people uh, spank it, crank it, <laughs> yank it, or dank it. Dank it. Who, who wrote this teleprompter? <laughs> In fact, I don't even agree yeah. with what I'm saying. This is a terrible policy. Know. Maybe I'm going to rethink my current situation. I, uh, I can't find a running mate. Oh, I've just received word that I have lost. <laughs> I, I have <laughs> as lost. soon as you're in the debate, it's like... 3% oh, is not very good. Porn stars should be uh, compensated. <laughs> Sir, we're talking about health care. Uh, it keeps me healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. I like the, your porn president. The porn president. <sighs> JF... Comedy? Yeah, J. J. F. Kennedy, but F is for fuck. J. Yeah, fuck, yeah J. that's fuck what Kennedy. it's gotta be. That's J. Fuck it's Kennedy. It's not comedy. It's, it's yeah. J. Fuck. Jack off Kennedy. Jack off Kennedy! <laughs> I, Jack off Kennedy. Kennedy. I think if you're enjoying erotic films, you should pay a premium. You should pay a premium. And look at my wife. She's so embarrassed right now. Jackie O. Face. By my platform. Don't look at me right now. <laughs> Don't look at me. Jack off Kennedy and Jackie O. Face. <laughs> Jackie Say O-Face. is a product. O-Face? Huh? Oh. O-Face? A Jackie O-Face. Yeah, her O-Face. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm really happy with Jackie O-Face. And John fuck, Jack, Jack off Kennedy. Jack off Kennedy and Jackie O-Face. I mean, type it into Google. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Oh, they're, they're probably. No, you would. You won't, no, I'm fingers, not asking you to. I'm saying. Your fingers won't even do that, will if they? If you did. She's like, look. That exists. And if is, it exists, the actors in it aren't being paid enough. <laughs> that, no. That sure. They deserve a, a bump. A bump. A bump after the bumping. Damn it. We've gone a lot of places, French. We, Are we really? not at 90? Oh, what? 129. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, one, a, a six, sweet. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. Well, you mentioned that you don't believe in Garsh. No God. Um, I believe in a version of God. Yeah, tell me everything. Okay, this is a safe space to, to believe whatever you want. I just was recalling that earlier you said you weren't religious, but you prayed uh, for the sign in the casino. I think, like I, uh, uh, I believe. You know, when you're on stage and 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 it's going great. And you feel this electricity that's going back and forth between people. I think that's God. Yeah. Like, I think that's its relationship. A relationship. And when the air gets just electric, or, or when you say something to somebody and it, 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 it seems to change their day. Mm. I think it's an expression. I'm like, uh, I'm a golden rules Christian. I'm just do unto others, love the person in front of you. And then yeah. the rest of it, I don't pretend to know if there's a person or if a thing, but. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. You know who's on your side is the old JC. He said, <laughs> well, when yeah. he said, love your neighbor as yourself and, and, and the rest is sort of uh, details. I think that's true. Yeah. I think the rest is just this guidebook that, that, you know, somebody manufactured. So. Well, people were involved in it for sure. Yeah. There's a whole conversation we could have about what what I think and what I've been taught that the Gospels are really saying about self-emptying, self-surrender, self-sacrifice, dying before you die, being broken, realizing your true self. That's the deeper message of the Gospel. But really, if you take yeah. away love your neighbor as yourself, because honestly, I don't do a very good job at all of that. Look, I'm always bigging myself up. I'm trying to amass power, possessions, prestige. That's th- Those are the three things that Jesus sure. preaches against the most. Right. So I can't say that I'm fully cooked or fully converted, yeah. but I can say I'm doing my best. And when it comes to loving you in this moment, that's good. That's yeah. pretty great. Because what you're saying, that energy, that relationship, being God, I think that's absolutely right. Because in those mm. high frequency moments where groups of people get on the same page, what happens is, to me, identities are dropped and a singularity of identity is that's, assumed. That's what it is. It's, it's the like removal it's, of the distance between you and Yes. Them. I feel like it's like the number system. It's like if you look at any number from one to one million or whatever, uh, you take any number out of it and it all falls apart. Mm. Wow. But if you never... Th- it, it, each number is special... Because without it, buddy. So there's like that's a singular a way to put it. Yeah, there's like a singularity to your life, but you're also a part of a thing, and so don't feel unimportant. But yeah, um, but know that you're you're you know 
a, a part of a bigger thing. That's the, like how the good I news is you're special. The bad news is everybody is special, I guess. Meaning bad news to your yes. ego. The yeah. ego would like to be special and no one else is special. That's right. Uh, but but your 11 is only doing 11's job and nobody can do 11's job. I just couldn't have needed to hear this message for better, more today. There's Aww. just something about like, I, I grew up Christian, so I still have that performance principle. Yes. Like, I really feel like I have to be perfect. I feel like I have to be shiny and nice and sparkly and earn yeah. my place in the world yeah. by being the golden boy, yeah. which is what it was like in my family. And over and over and over again, uh, the Bible, other faiths for sure as well are going like, no, you're a part of a thing including when things go squirrely, yeah. including when things go strange, yes. including when French gets divorced, including when Pete gets divorced. That's that right. mattered. That belonged. You know what I mean? Yes. But in the West, we've sort of turned spirituality into just another way to win, another way to shine, and we've turned it into being nice. When really, what you've said, I actually think your golden rule and your number thing is sort of the whole thing. Because the number thing is don't forget you belong. And that's, everybody yeah and everything and when what hell is is feeling separate and forgetting that you belong yes even when you're the guy at the party that that says the joke that everybody drops their glass and stares at you you fucking belonged yes. you were the guy at that party to them yes and that butterfly affected everything and every and this conversation that we're having goes to these people and these people go out to those people it's all a swirling mass of numbers that need one another. i think i think you're I, I think that's it and I, I and the worst part is is that in three hours we're gonna have to re-remind ourselves that's right of this conversation <laughs> and that's what i mean by being fully cooked i think there's a way to get it into your marrow yeah like i belong um, but there's something and it's okay. I'm the same way. Val and I talk about it all the time. We're like on our deathbeds. There's a chance we might be like this. I think this might've been bullshit. I, I'm just scared. Yeah. And you have to go like, uh, ultimate reality is not contingent on how French feels Yeah. and how Pete feels. No, I know. And we just have to remember and remember and remember as much as we can that we're part of something. But this is something I say to myself all the time. It's from a course in miracles. I go, uh, you're never angry for the reason you think you are. You're angry because you think the world is meaningless. Uh, God did not create a meaningless universe. And sometimes I just say the third one. God did not create a meaningless universe. And that's just no. another way of saying I'm a number in a sequence. Yes. And it's not meaningless. And it's, it's and not. Belong. I, I have a purpose. I'm important. Yes. But I'm also a part of a, a, a large. Of a thing. Of everything. Your identity is relational. You're only French because I'm looking at you and I go, what do I call you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's why we made the thing called French Stewart. And that's why I made the thing called Pete. That's but right. We funny? might as well be, uh, you know, ketchup or. Ketchup and mustard. Yeah, ketchup and mustard. The old, the old duo. Oh, the old duo ketchup and mustard. You can be ketchup. Oh, you want to be mustard? <gasps> French is mustard. You're mayo. French is mustard, and Katie Mayo. Katie Mayo. <laughs> I wish your name was Patty Mayo. Yeah, you you are so patient. She, Katie, how many? We've done six hundred. I'm just turning this off. Six hundred and twenty episodes. So multiply that by two hours minimum each. That's Have you how done many them episodes. all together? Yeah, Katie's been there for almost every one. Aristotle every once in a while. It's holy and Tony every once in a while, but almost always Katie. sweet baby Jesus. But you know, uh, not to be weird, but every morning I put Katie on. I do gratitude lists. I don't know if, if you've gotten into that. It's wonderful. And it's great. I, I list the people that that's the best thing to be grateful to. I'm talking about the number thing. Yes. You go. I could say I'm grateful for the podcast. But what is the podcast? It's French. It's Katie. Obviously, it's Katie. It's it's Joe who edits the video. Yeah, it's 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 all these different people, and I love that that helped me get in touch with gratitude. Is it's not just like abstract ideas. You actually just put names of people. Oh, so there that, you go, Katie. Deal with that. That's so direct. It's like it's so, great. That's really a great idea. But it rem, it reminds you you're one of the numbers. They're one of the numbers, and all the numbers need one another. And it's 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 your definition of God, which is great. Isn't it interesting? I, I grew up. My mother was uh, uh, still a, she was a Christian Scientist, so I didn't really see a doctor till I was like twenty four or something. No way. And there's a, there's a, a lot of it that I'm you know, I've just kind of become my own thing. But but there's one thing that that I'll say in the morning, which is uh, they call it the seven synonyms of God, which is principle, mind, soul, spirit life truth love 
Right. And that part of it works for me. That's like, great. That's, that's, that's all I need right there. Just just a little something to be like. Tell, walk me through that. It's the seven principles of God? It's the seven synonyms of God. So, so these all mean God. Yes. And it's principle, mind, soul, spirit, life, truth, love. I'm, it's very in line with what, what I believe too, because not to be, why would I apologize for this? We've been no. very woo. I think God is what's looking out your eyes right now. Yeah. It's awareness. Yes. And it's what we all are. And so talk about my gratitude journal. I do affirmations in it too. And the last one it always is I trust myself, capital S, self. I, I trust oh. not just God as an idea of some guy swirling up the swirling bingo around with letters. a big beard. Yeah. Yeah. I trust my my ultimate self, my deep, my truest identity. Yeah. But if you reduce me down to the point where you can't reduce me anymore, what's left is the spark and God is the fire and I'm a little spark, but really a little spark is the whole thing too. You really know what like I'm saying? That. Like, yeah. I really like that. You can't divide infinity. If you take a little piece of infinity and put it in me and put it in you, Yeah, you can't have a little piece of infinity it's, going back to right. your number thing. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. So when you die and I can't say this enough, I, I I've had, some experiences that showed me this when you die, you're actually going in, you're actually dropping all that's fake. All that sort of goes away. Yeah. And in my experience, you're losing the physical car. You're losing the car, <laughs> but the passenger remains like the, the Pinto. real. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're retiring. That's what Ram Dass would say. There's Ram Dass right there. He's like, you're selling your old Dodge van. Yeah. That's why they say they drop the body, but you're not going whew, out to heaven. You're actually, Going where you were the whole time. And there's yeah. nothing more beautiful than that. Yeah. Because that means, Frenchie, we're both there already. And that's what Jesus and others were always saying. The kingdom of heaven is in you. I the kingdom that. of heaven is nigh. It's here. Yeah. It won't come by expectation. They won't say, here it comes. It's here, but men do not see it. People do not see it. Yeah. But when we have conversations like this, you sort of remember, right? Well, yes. And in 30 I, minutes, we'll forget. And in 30 minutes, <laughs> we'll forget. But I love it, Pete. Like, like I just, uh, it, it's been such a pleasure just to, uh, you know, get to know uh, a new friend. Yeah, man. Oh. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Now That's we're friends. Thing. Now we're friends. Sealed. Yeah. I hear Good you Good luck have a with pool. that. <laughs> Good luck with me, Pete. Good luck. And you too. 3 a.m. French texts. Yeah. Well, this has been great. Do you feel satisfied? I talked a lot there. I feel wonderful. Okay, good. I, I, it's just, I loved it. I'm glad. We loved have one everybody. last question. Oh, okay. And it's for you because, because in the God section, I do tend to like, I like to talk about that stuff. So we always want to end with you. Can you tell me a time in your life where you laughed really, 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 really hard? It doesn't have to be a good story. Maybe you and your wife, somebody farted. Maybe someone fell down. Yeah. Maybe you were a kid. Maybe your, your dad. <laughs> Close the car door in his hand. It doesn't have to be a great story. Just if you have tears streaming down your face, where where do you go to? What happened? The, my wife and I call this uh, one time she, uh, and I can't exactly remember what it was, but she made me laugh so hard that I, I splurped my coffee onto my pants. Splurped. Yeah. And so now... Whenever we really make each other laugh really hard, yes. we call it like, oh, you splurped me. Intimacy. Y you know, you splurped me. This is it. And so she'll text it like, I'll, I'll, I'll send her something or whatever. Yes, and it's something that gets her. You splurped. And it's like, you know, we, we, I, I don't even know what the joke would be, but it's like, oh, splurp. No, that's all I need. Isn't that the best? You went right to the heart of it. Yes, yeah, splurp. what I want is relationship intimacy. How are you using these things to bond and stuff? That's beautiful. Val and I have a similar relationship in that way. Yeah, and and we don't have we don't say splurp, but maybe now we will. But but we also like sometimes she'll be like, uh, you know that joke's only for me, right? Like you can't take that to the street. Oh, and I'm like, yeah. no, I know, I know. She's like, you, you're you're old, <laughs> you're, you're old. That one's <laughs> just for the kitchen. That was just for the kitchen, yeah. and don't test that in 2022. That's right. You're, yep. you're Alec Baldwin, Rip. <laughs> you're, 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 that's right. <laughs> you, you Baldwin did. <laughs> splurp me. Don't bald, yes. Baldwin me. So always splurp. Always yeah. splurp. Well, Frenchie, that's a wonderful answer. I'm looking at my notes. Leno. Oh, Cindy. I, I wrote down that you did the Cindy Crawford talk show. Who cares? We, we share the same birthday. You and Cindy? February 20th. <gasps> Are you still close? <laughs> every, every, every year uh, on our birthday, I'll, just, I'll send her like a happy birthday. 
<sighs> you know? Did she reply? Sometimes. <laughs> Just a gif of her drinking Pepsi? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. talk about the choice of a new generation. Yeah. That was the choice of an older generation. I swear. She's a lovely human, too. I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Like some of them, like you see like a supermodel and you, you meet them and you're like, oh, but you're you're ugly inside, I think. Right. But she's she's not. She's just beautiful. Look, it could be hindsight, but I feel like if you were like, she's a terrible person, I would be like, really? And you saying that she's a lovely person, I'm kind of like, that feels right to me. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I spent so much of my youth. That's not a joke. I'm not saying like, I was staring at her. I, <laughs> I just mean like, like she at... was such a part of my adolescence that I'm like, I'd be shocked. Something about her essence seems to come through. Yeah, no, she's delightful. It's great. She does not Leno you, and we full circle. No, she didn't Leno me. Okay. Um, well, don't forget the person that takes the picture is the person you eat. That's right. I'll, yeah, let, you, I'll the, let you know how it does. All right. Like, I'm going to need footage. Oh, yeah. Like, just... But, I, well, it, maybe if I, I get think video of it, yeah. I'll Instagram it, and I'll say French Stewart and I wrote this joke together. Oh well, I appreciate yeah, it, of course. but it's a—it's also uh, it's a gift to you. It's a—it's a—it's an yes. act of love. It's a mitzvah. Yeah, it's a mitzvah. There we are. Yeah. Well, thanks for being the eight to my nine, or you're—I'm the, the nine to your ten. Hey, I'm—I'm I'm the three to your four. It, it could go any way. You zoom out far enough, it's just a bunch of bees. It's just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> French, would you say keep it crispy? It's how we end. The guest says the catchphrase. Keep it crispy. Uh, yeah, and if you want, you can say it. Like your character used to from Third Rock. Everybody loves that. All right. Hey, man. Keep it crispy. Crazy. I don't know why. It was, it I just can do took another me one. right back. Keep it crispy. Even better. Like a big. Yeah. Like a bear or something. Like a big bear man. Keep it crispy. Oh, keep it crispy. Hey, baby. Keep it crispy. Hey, baby. Hey, man. Is that John C. Riley? Hey. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hey. Keep it crispy. You live with-